All right, hey guys. Um, before we get this video started, I want to notify y'all about the aircraft that I am selling. First, we have a British Airways BEA Retro Livery Airbus A19 Gym Largest from the 400 scale. A Phoenix Models 737 Max 9 in the House Livery, 1400 scale. 1400 scale of Phoenix Models 777 that's 200ER in the House Livery. And a Phoenix Models 730, 777 S200 LR in the house livery on 400 scale. Um, the link from my eBay will be down in the description if you guys are interested. All right, hey guys, back with another YouTube video. And today is actually my 15th birthday. And as you can see behind me, we have this entire haul right here of aircraft. Um, we'll get to that in a second. I'm doing the video on the floor right now because the airport is currently occupied. You can see one of my new tables actually right here. <laughs> This table is for. I just got done painting it. It should be done honestly in a while. The only thing I really need to print out of the gate areas and the runways. I can do the draw taxiways all by myself. But anyway, let's get to this intro. And there might be uh, another plan I might be selling in this video. Who knows? In the near future. So just keep a lookout. Let's get to the intro. Alright, so let's start off behind me with some Dayron aircraft. Um, start off with a Tom Airline. 787 here. You can see some nice box details here. This is the back. This is one of their new releases. Also, they have, now I'll, I'll say that later when it comes time for this aircraft, but they have just released a United new livery 787-9 also. So that should be pretty fun. I'll go over the camera here. Excuse my dirty socks. Raise it up a little bit. Or lower it. Yeah, lower it. That's it. Alrighty. As you can see here, just a normal looking Dayron aircraft in a new livery. It's pretty awesome. We have Latam Airlines 787 Dreamliner. This one does not have a tail number, but here's a front view of it. Upside down view, we got uh, we got a gray right we got gray right there, all white, normal tires with the screws in the 787s, and uh, everything, normal wings and tail. Here's an up close shot. Now let's get a close up shot out of this thing. Pretty nice aircraft, isn't it? All right. So that brings it out for the Tom. This is um, on my. Sorry about the pain on my hand. All right. Due to my phone being completely out of storage, unfortunately, I'm just gonna resort to my iPad. So sorry about the grainy, the grainier quality. But let's move on to the next aircraft. The Tom is not out of the way. We can go to now. Um, okay. Let's do the WestJet 787. Alright, here is the WestJet 787. Wow, the light does not make that look good. Alright, let me just turn that over. Alright, so it doesn't look good. <laughs> there we go. Alright, this is the WestJet 787. I'm just going to turn these guys around. Like the other direction, like over here around. Does that look good? I don't know. But anyway, this is the Westjet 787. Here's the back of the box. Uh, let me just lower the uh, brightness. There we go. Front, midsection, 
back. It's a normal day run box. I have two of these. Um, but let's get it's open. Alright. I want my little brother downstairs. You know him for you. Alright. Let's now, this is a sight for Sunrise. This is a very nice aircraft right here. This is the new livery WestJet. As you may be able to see. Uh, actually, one of these recently flew to Atlanta in the summertime to deliver supplies, along with an Air Canada 787 flew here. A lot of 787s have been flying here, including a, um, what's it called? Look. Nah, not the Tom. Avianca 787 also flew here this summer. You like what you see? It's amazing. It's the Spirit of Canada. This is absolutely an amazing model. Same undercarriage per usual. I know a lot of you don't care about Gemini Jets for Daron, but I'm going to try to do the same review as I do with the Gemini Jets. Maybe it's not different. But I'm just not going to upload a whole five minute video on just Daron when I include them with the Gemini Jets. Pretty, really nice model. As we prepare for the next one, bump the run, we go back in the room. We go back in the box. The next aircraft is a Israel Airlines 787. Box. This is one of the newer, newer ones. Like I, this probably just came out. Like this probably like, just dropped. Like maybe a few, like not even three weeks ago. Honestly, it's pretty new. Got the box there. Nice presentation. Dayron is uh you know stepping their game up, making new airlines. Two years ago, Christmas you saw some nice ones. Wow, I'm actually kind of a nail filer. <laughs> I've been said the knife in accident. Now, I do need the knife. Let's get that out. Nail filer again. Alright. Alright, sorry, back to what we were doing before. But this is the uh, aircraft. Sorry about all the stuff you hear in the background, um, airport construction and all that. I was looking for my knife. I had to switch it. This looks way better than it did before, and it's easier. It looks a little bit more professional, although my more better stand is currently in use. I hope one of my jets. Hopefully by the end of the week I can have this new airport mostly finished. I just need some new ink for the runway. Here, excuse me with this guy right so I need to get last need to get that last little van off. Alright, sorry about the lighting, but here she is. Again, excuse that. Um that's just some paint. I was just painting the airport, you know. Um But um yeah, here it is. Really nice aircraft, isn't it? Alright, I'm not gonna lie. I do love their run aircraft, but I'm not a fan of stickers. I would say would go back to a uh, more painting aircraft. And that was just one of the lights falling. Let me put it back up. I don't even think it's working anyway. It really isn't. Can't wait till I get my little station back. Oh, look, we got a blue band. Alright, they um, finally wrapped it all the way around. They don't usually do it all the way around, and they usually stop that right there. But actually, got all the way around. Here's the top view. Of course, I do the almost drop it. Of course, I do all the way to the top here. Um, you know, but since the wheels are on the ground, I usually do on the ground like that. But yeah, this thing's uh, quite cool. What's this? Oh, it's just some tape. Alrighty. Alright, well, let's move on to last but not least. The Lufthansa A350 by Dayron. Oh, this is not the last one. This is the last of the miniature. 
보이셨어요? Back in the box goes you. Next, we have the Lufthansa A350. And actually, Daron has just put out an Air France A350 release for Daron. That's pretty exciting. This one's also pretty new. Um, like Latam new. Not as old as the West Jet here. You can not take these guys, the buttons, and everything off. For those of y'all who have been here for a long time, this is my third Airbus A350 behind the Amer No, this is my fourth Airbus A350 behind the Iberia, American, and Delta A350. So now we get to Lufthansa. Lufthansa gets to join the crew. Here. The new livery of Lufthansa. Airbus A350 with these new sleek wings. I love the new sleek wings that they have on here. Um, look at that tail. It's like really, really nice. Let me brighten that up a little bit for y'all. That might be too bright on the box there, on the back there, but that looks really nice, doesn't it? Um, yeah, we got the uh, undercarriage, the dark blue. I love the dark blue. I really love the dark blue. Um, on these, on the Lufan delivery, it looks really, really nice. Um, yeah. Also, Lufan does make some pretty fine liveries, doesn't it? They make some really, really nice liveries. All right, that's Lufan day to fifty. Now, moving on to uh, the Allegiant Airport place that you see back there at the AT twenty. All right, so here we have an Allegiant Airbus A320 airport playset by Dayron. So what's different between this one and the old one is you see we have more blue paint up the sides here and an orange and yellow paint right there. Nothing really, I mean, so yeah, nothing really different, but it's a new design. So yeah, let's take the tape off here. As you can see in here, we have the Allegiant Airbus 5020, a runway sign, a cones, I mean cones, a bus, and a head sign, a buckle seatbelt sign, and a wind flag sign. First, let's examine the bus here. Yeah, I know, right? Normal a Allegiant, normal Allegiant Airbus, person, but I never understood why they have these double deckers. They don't have these double deckers in real life. These big tour bus buses in real life. They are really, really cool. Like, they're like really, really cool. And then we have the actual aircraft. Every look at the box here. Airbus A320. Looks like you do have a we have registration on this one. Oh god, I can't get it. Can't get a good reading on this one. <sighs> but it is November two, four, six, November Victor. This one right here. Oh, yeah, there it goes. Y'all can see it better now. Look, it's a fat Airbus cockpit. It's a fat Airbus AC20 cockpit right here. <laughs> oh, this is a tape. This is, um, this is a sticker. I used to um, like almost peel them off and see what was under there and put them back together. Cool. 
I might need to find a, loca a new location because this is honestly annoying me <laughs> down here. Um, but um, yeah, as you can see here, a really nice Allegiant Airbus A320 airport playset. As we move on to the Air Canada 777 new livery, I'll put this back in the box and I'll be back in a second for you guys. When you realize you're literally in a room full of tables. Now the lighting is also a jet so we can get to this Air Canada 777. That's better. I can live with this. As you can see here, we have an Air Canada 777-200. So in this airport place, we have an, a head side, two cones, an Air Canada bus, an Air Canada food truck, an arrivals and departure side, a runway side, a buckle up side, and a wind side. And, of course, including the aircraft. Now, it goes to the why? What the heck is this? Look, I thought I ordered a triple seven. Why do I see an eight hundred? No answer, because no one can answer why I do see an Airbus A three hundred twenty. No one can answer that. I have the single plane of this, but can anyone answer why I'm looking directly at an Airbus? A320? No, you can't. Can't answer it. Alright, so here we have the beverage truck right here. So Canada. You know, goes up and down like so. Alright, if this Air Canada 777 was a scale, what would it be? 500? Same bus as in all of the other aircraft. You know, with the Air Canada logo on it. And a black roof. This is what air, the airport place hits when we have anyway. Sometimes it's like really hard to get in. Yeah, we just gotta throw some in there. Just like that. Anyway. We finally move on to the actual plane. If here is the Air Canada 777, I do have this single plane um, on my wall. But yeah, does this look like an A220? It's not an A220. But yeah, I think this would be a 1500 scale, don't you think? 1500 scale? Yeah, 1500 scale. I love the all black underbelly. Well, mostly all black, but I love the black underbelly. The good old days with the day on the airport. We're reconstructing on the airport again. I think it looks good. Paint for the fourth table is now drying. Hopefully by the time the end of the night is over, I'll have the paint painted over. I'll have the um, paper painted over so I can glue over it, you know. But, uh, yeah. This is the uh, Air Canada 777. And now, what a lot of y'all have been waiting for. Ba -ba -ba, the Gemini Jets. Alright, first up for the Gemini Jets, we... I'm not going to unbox these at the moment. But we have a stand and these guys. Yep. And, uh, first up for Gemini Jets in Alaska 737-700. All right, so here we have an Alaska 737 Let me turn the brightness up on this. Um, so y'all can see better. It still doesn't look good. Let's see if I can 
trying this or something. That looks better. Alright, there we go. She's up all night. Um, but here we have the last one, 77 that's 700 in the delivery. As real as it gets. So, per usual, why I send the box. Alright, we open it. Delivery Alaska Airlines Aircraft Type 737 Dash. I just realized something. I can use my camera bag wire. I'll get it out after I, after I do this. I can go do it right now. <clears throat> Alright, we're back. So, Livery Alaska Airlines Aircraft Type 737 700. Serial number 30343. Line number 439. Registration November 614, Alpha Sierra Engines 2 XCFMI CFM 567B20. First flight November 23rd, 1999. Delivery date December 13th, 1999. Max takeoff weight 154,500 pounds. Cruise speed 518 miles per hour. Range 3,461 miles. Seating is 120 passengers. Um, 120 mixed classes. Length is 110 feet and 4 inches. Height is 41 feet and 3 inches. Wingspan is 117 feet and 5 inches. And then here's the rest of that. 77 7, 7, program. And there we have the aircraft. Let's um, unbox this sucker. Okay, let me put the camera down. Alright. Alright, so here we have the Alaska 737-700. There we go. Is that a registration number right there? A really good detail and mold on this thing. Tires do not roll and they are in a fixed position as 737-700 usually are for Gemini jets. If we look under it, we have a very nice, oh, it's a little sleek right there. Um, we have a very nice paint job under here with the Gemini emblem right there and the pole and the engine blades warning line and uh flat and we got I forgot what these are called we got the flats flaps right there it's slats and the elevators upside down elevators and the APU we got some windows the front door they got the Alaska logo right there in the cockpit we have a few engines we have the engines right there and you got the eyebrow windows and the lightning rod on top of here and over here you have the cargo loading doors right there in the front along with that number and a few words here in the front saying that's really grainy they say Okay, Boeing, and honestly, I can't even read it. Yeah, I can't read it either. But let me go get the other Alaska 737-700, and y'all can compare and contrast. All right, I got it. Here's the older livery right here. 737-700. All right, you on to the next aircraft. All right, so next up we have an American Airbus A320. And if you do own Jim, it's a good thing to have Scorilla glue. This is what they use to glue the wings and stuff together on the Jim jets. But no, no, no. Jim Jets American, you know, you always need to glue with that. But we have a Jim Jets American Airbus A320 here with us today. One 400 scale. 
Uh, as real as it gets, you know, the usual ordeal. Under the hood, we have, all right, there we go. We have length 125 feet and three inches. Height is 38 feet and seven inches. The wingspan is 117 feet and five inches. Same as the 737 or 700. Max takeoff with 172,000 pounds. Cruise speed 518 miles per hour. Range 3,719 miles per hour. Seeing 165 mixed classes. Live in American Airlines. Type Airbus 5200. Number 866. Registration November 61651 Alpha Whiskey. Engines 2XIAE V2527. A5, first flight July 2nd, 1998, delivery date April 8, 2015, and the aircraft right there. Alrighty. Sliding that away. Opening the box. These sometimes can be a little tricky. All right, Just checking if the other wings are coming off, because I already know this one is. All right, why not show you how to super glue these things, shall we? All right, let's get the super glue. I um put a little bit in the wing cavern here. If I can never get out the bottle. Is it glued shut? Wow. Now we got a little bit there. Not much is coming out of it. Oh, that's not good. Let me wipe that away. All right, I gotta clean this up. All right. Whew. It's so hard to get the bottle. This is annoying. Then I'll carefully put the wings in. Hold for ten, like ten seconds, and voila! That should dry automatically. It should already be mostly dry, actually by now. And there you go. Like nothing ever happened. Oh yeah, it's still not dry yet. I should probably stop playing with it. All right, there we go. All right, well, anyway, let's go on with the um, review here. Um, all right, I uh, got the American Airbus A320. This is a newer released one. Got the registration right there. Give you a forward view of this beast. A behind view. And in a top view. There we go, I just needed it to focus more. The American tail. 
It's a bit darker. Oh, it's tail heavy too. Um, which is not a problem because I just gotta do this. You never even know. Um, yeah, do the tires roll? No, no, no. Okay, perfect. I like all the tires to roll and none of the tires to roll either one. I actually do prefer. Um, yeah, I'm gonna compare it to the American H21. I do have the American H21. On the bottom here, we have the Gemini Death logo. The model stand hole got the the engines, these flat, I forgot what they call it, the sharklets, the engines, uh, the doors, and some more color in here, the elevators down there. Up here, the American logo, registration, Wi Fi box, lightning rods. Um, we also have the doors right there, right here for the model. All right, as I retrieve the American Airbus A321, not really a big difference with these two, aside from the size. Yeah. In the engines. I got this guy last year, got this one this year. Or which I might just release next year. Alright, on to the next aircraft. Andalay Andalay. Next aircraft is an Alaska 737-900. Yeah. You already know the deal. As real as it gets. Let me move the tower over here. I feel comfortable with it over there. All right. Livery Alaska, Livery Alaska, aircraft type 737-900, share number 30016, number in line 683, first session November 383, <clears throat> Alpha Sierra, engines 2X, CFMI, CFM 567B24, first flight October 18, 2000, delivery date 2, January 25, 2001, at takeoff weight 187,700 pounds, clear speed 500. 24 miles per hour, range is 3,393 miles, seating is 177 classes, length is 138 feet and 2 inches, height 41 feet and 2 inches, wingspan 112 feet and 7 inches. And this one does not have wings as you can see, and I will be comparing it to the Max 9 later. I don't think I need the super glue anymore, but just in case, you know. I should just review them like this versus what I was doing. God, there's so many transitions in this video. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, all right, so we have the Alaska logo, the doors and the windows right here. What am I doing? We have the Alaska logo, doors and windows right there. The logo on the front, Boeing. Got the engines, tires do not roll, they're fixed. Lightning rods. It's, okay, it's 1037-900, but it doesn't have the extra burst jacket, so it's just a, so it does, it does not have the extra burst jacket. We have the, I, forgot, I don't know what it's called, but it's for tail strikes. The elevator is right here. The Alaska logo and the registration right there. I think this one does the milk run. Um, um, yeah, you see you got the emergency exit slide right there. The engine slats and slats right there. Beacon light. 
uh, cockpit with the eyebrow windows on the front there. And uh, yeah, you got to stand right down the barrel here in the aircraft. Well, what's that going over? It sounds like a CS. It's like an, A2, an A220 or something. All right, got the Gemini logo, another beacon light, the gear wells right there, lightning rod, and oh, that doesn't look deep enough from here to hold the what's it called, but it is. Got the back door compartments right there, and uh, yeah. Let's go get the 737 MAX 9 Alaska, and that's located right here. <clears throat> All right. All right, the difference, we got winglets on this one. Uh, of course, different APU. Um, if it looks on the APU, we got an emergency. Uh, we have going to that side. Okay, switching over. Uh, we got an emergency exit right here. Mm, again, different APU. And yeah, bigger engines. Other than that, not really anything different with these two guys. All right, let's uh, move on to the next aircraft. Next up on our list, you can definitely see the other one over there. But a Spirit Airbus A321. And I did request two of these. Um, left to complete my low-cost carrier collection. I do wish the box was a different color though. Like Lufanza here. They got the box a different color in FedEx. Look inside. Don't mind if I do. Alrighty. So once it focuses Livery Spirit Airlines aircraft type AC twenty one two hundred here number two five two two. Earth race November 6, 7, 2, November Kilo, engines 2X, IAE, V, 2, 5, 3, 3, A, 5. First flight, January 23rd, 2017. Delivery date, February 1st, 2017. Range takeoff weight, 206,000 pounds. Cruising speed, 518 miles per hour. Range, 3,685 miles. miles. Single, 185 classes. Wingspan, 117 feet and 5 inches. Tail height is 38 feet and 7 inches. Length is 100 and 60, 146 feet. And there's the aircraft, the beautiful Airbus A321 Spirit. I don't think I have the A321 to compare to aside from the Neo. That's just the engines. Yeah, I'll compare to the JetBlue Neo, I guess. There it is, the Spirit Airbus A321. All right, let's get reviewing. All right, so as you can see here, got the usual stuff like the doors, this giant Spirit logo tag right there, Spirit Airlines on the winglets, Spirit tail um, AP right there. So wheels roll, all the wheels do roll, and home of the bear fare, Spirits, um, ah, oh God, so God, what's it saying? Uh, I want to say, I don't know, I forgot the word. The Wi Fi box, lightning rods. Oh, yeah, I need to get the Delta 8, new Delta, Delta 8021. That's what I need. Under it, we have the Demandit's logo right there, the where the hook is supposed to go. Got a few other stuff under here. They got the engines right there. Um, yeah, um, front of the aircraft, got the engines, and they're not oversized, way to go. 
Um, where's the APU valve on this thing? Am I looking in the right place for the APU valve on H21? Yeah, like back here, right? Um, got the service doors right there. And let's come, let's go get the A321 Neo to compare it to. Let's get the last, yeah. No, nah, I'm gonna do JetBlue. Remington JetBlue. As you can see, not much of a difference aside from those giant Neo engines and a livery, of course. Yeah, not much of a difference aside from the giant Neo engines. All right, moving on. Next, we have a United current livery 767 300R. And before y'all get excited like that doesn't apply to Atlanta, it does do charters here. The Chicago Bears and will fly in on this in, to Atlanta all the time. In fact, it has. And in on the new delivery, that was, they were both actually recently here for charters also along with the new livery United 757. Oh, a United Triple Seven was here for a charter also. So um yeah, this is the older livery as you can see. All right, inside. Uh, I call it the current livery because not all of them are painted yet. But as you may be able to see, we have livery United Aircraft Seven Six Seven Three Two Three Hundred ER Construction Number Three Zero Zero Two Eight Number in Line. 834 registration November 676 uniform alpha it's 2x Platinum Whitney Platinum Whitney 4060 first flight April 11 2001 delivery date April 23rd 2001 into weight 179,000 pounds cruise speed 530 miles per hour range 3,900 miles seating 250 height mixed classes 351 high density classes length is 183 feet long height is 52 feet tall wingspan is 156 feet and one inch and that's the aircraft i'll leave this one out to compare with the new livery One thing I'm already loving about this one is the front tire is not up like the one on like the Delta one usually is. Yeah, the Delta one is all off balance, like it's rest like that. It's annoying. Alright. So we have the United emblem right there. Windows, got those engines. The weird seven six seven fuselage look. This thing is really weird. <laughs> This is a really weird aircraft with the from the nose all the way to the freaking APU, the winglets and the wings. Um, got the 10 number uniform 676 six, uniform alpha, the United logo, got their rudder right there, elevators, APU, that gray line under the aircraft, separate the cargo, I mean, just separate the cargo hold from the actual, you know, cabin. Um, got the blades. Marks right there. Okay. The front, all the tires except for the front tires. Roll on this one particular model. Oh, yeah, that other back wing is a little off, but it's cool. Got the navigation lights right there. As we come over here, you got the cargo hold doors right up there in the front, the big one and the smaller one. Under it, you have the landing gear doors, the stand, the stand hole, the APUs right there, got the elevators, and the front tire doors, the wings, and 
flat flaps over here you got the slats and the emergency exit view right there the view with the Wi-Fi box and the lightning rods but yeah the 767 all right I'm gonna leave this one out when the United new livery 767 comes by all right next up we have the new livery United 767 300 ER I'm not gonna go through everything again well I'm not gonna go through a lot of things again to introduce to it since we just went over them in the other United 767 but uh yeah here's the box and the only thing I the iPad fell <laughs> pretty funny but let's get to the um everything we already know all of that so registration november 676 uniform alpha and uh that's about it that's about uh all we should review for this guy because we just did it in the last one all right here it is the new light livery 767 300 er And here this beauty is. Look at that view, it's amazing. <clears throat> All right, tracting the box. All right, new United Livery 767 is absolutely extraordinary. I actually caught United New Livery ERJ 175 at the airport last night and this morning. Got the tail number right there, got the doors, APU, that beautiful new United logo. Right there, right on the rudder and the tail, the vertical stabilizer, the APU right back there. And uh, yeah, I like how the registration is now up here versus down here so I can see it better. Um, Starline's logo right there. Again, sorry that my hands are dirty. I was just painting. I'll show you guys how the progress once we are done with the video. Got the landing gear doors, um, the holes right there, the stand holes, this tire rolls, and the front tire roll, but these do not. Well, this front one does. Um, I got the right over here, it's a bit glossy. You got the doors, the loading service doors right there, the Wi Fi box on the top, the in case of emergency, uh, what are those called? Pathways, yeah, but uh, yeah, this weird, ugly aircraft in a beautiful livery I was actually about a week after night the first new United livery 767 was painted I got the opportunity to see it after Newark and drive right by on the bus so that was pretty fun <clears throat> once let me get the old one out old United livery I mean current United livery Versus New United Livery. That's a lot better. Freaking awesome, isn't it? Alright, going back to what we were doing before. Sorry, touch the mic. Um, <clears throat> next, we have a American Eagle. Seven six seven three hundred ER. This is also done charter service to Atlanta. I've seen it. As real as it gets, for people who take their fun seriously. That's a hobby car model, and I liked it because they also sell Gem I just there. For people who take their fun seriously. All right. Again, not gonna read much of the um, information since we've literally just gone over it. American Airlines, serial number 29429, line number 700, registration November 392, Alpha November. And 
First flight April 23rd, 1998. Delivery date April 30th, 1998. And, um, yeah, same thing as the other 767s. There's the aircraft. Let's open it. Alright, here the beautiful, magnificent aircraft is. Alright, so first let's start from over here this time. Got that beautiful nose cap right there with those landing lights and those beautiful engine blades right there and the winglet navigation lights. If we look down here we can see um, those lightning rods and these two Wi-Fi boxes and that vertical stabilizer over to the side here we have an american the american logo right here the elevators another uh, the, the again two wi-fi boxes lightning rods tail number engines the tires right here all the wheels do roll on this model the cockpit um one world sign right there the american the american emblem oh jeez all right got the um doors um for the back tires and doors for the front tires right up there under we have the p little piece of the american flag and the tail strike i don't know again i don't know what's called but we also have the um baggage compartment doors right up there Um, got the Gemini that's logo on the stand hole right up there and the flaps and the slats. I don't even think I have anything to compare this model to. Um, they've really already done it. A lot of things. Got the APU back there also. All right. Next, we have a... All right, next we have a Lufanza, Lufanza Airbus A330. 300 and I love the Lufanza boxes All right Livery Lufanza aircraft type Airbus 830 300 serial number 989 Registration Delta Alpha India Kilo Oscar engines 4x Rolls Royce Trent 772 Bravo 60s. First flight January 14th, 2009. Delivery date February 19th, 2009. Max takeoff weight 533, 500,000 pounds. Cruise speed 540 miles per hour. Range 600, 6,200 miles per hour. Seating, uh, e, uh, OF through 42J. Uh, I'm not going to read that. You guys can just stop reading that. Length is 208 feet and 11 inches. Height is 55 feet. Ring span is 170, no, 197 feet and 10 inches. And that's the aircraft. This beautiful Lufanza A330-300. Alright. First glance, I'm loving the engines. I'm loving these engines right here. Alright. Alright, front tire roll. Alright, all the tires roll on this model. Um, yeah. Lufanza, you got the cockpit, got the Lufanza logo right there. The words got the engines, got the reverse thrust, got the blade mark. 
and this does have gear hang. I'm glad to say. All right, got the registration number for the people who have their windows closed. Got the windlets that navigation lights right there. The Lufanza logo on the vertical stabilizer, the elevators, the APU back there. Um, under it, we have the Gemini Dutch logo, the doors, um, the wheel doors, the stand, the model stand hole, the under blue from the tail, got the flaps and slats right there, whatever those flaps. I know they begin with flaps. Got the beacon light, it's right there. Got the, um, this is a bad angle. Got the winglet right there too, got the engine blades. And got the gear just hanging them. Got the doors right, oh, got the doors right there. Got the nose cap, lightning rods. Got the um, Wi-Fi box. That black line around the wing with no step. Um, then we have the service doors back here. And uh, yeah, Lufanza got that beautiful. Nice winglet right there. Really nice aircraft. And moving on to the triple sevens. All right, third class. We do have a FedEx triple seven. I did need another FedEx aircraft and it was a triple seven. Got the giant FedEx Express logo right there on the front line with the triple seven F. Um, you have the box. Ooh, I'm loving the presentation. A livery FedEx aircraft type 777 F zero number 41866, not line number 1,400, 1,048. Um, registration number 887 Foxtrot Delta engines 2X GE 90s. First flight, September 7, 2012. Delivery date, October 4, 2012. Max takeoff weight set seven. 166,800 pounds, cruising speed 540 miles per hour, range 5,701, 717 miles per hour, um, length is 209 feet and 1 inch, height is 60 feet and 9 inches, wingspan is 212 feet and 7 inches. And there's the aircraft. All right, it looks like for the bigger boxes, I'm going to need to raise this up a little bit. All right, there it is. I'll get that later. Spectacular. It's absolutely amazing. All right, so first here we have the world on time. Right there. That's their motto. That's the way I look, was looking for a motto. Front tires roll. These tires do not back here. Well, this one does. All right. I got this door, the only door on here. FedEx Express logo, the cockpit, these big GE90 turbo fan engines. Um, the wheels got one service door right here. Got the registration, FedEx logo, uh, trims. They don't move, of course. Elevators back here, navigation lights. Uh, got these tires right there. They hang a little bit. Um, lightning rods on the top there. Uh, 
Um, yeah. Looking at the front, got those blades, landing lights, uh, windshield wipers on the front there. Got the nose cap. Um, the outer edge of the wing. And on this side, we have the other service doors right there. And we have the other service doors, the Gym Logitech logo. I'm loving the gray and white and purple on the bottom of this thing. This um, stand hold right there. And um, that is the FedEx Triple Seven. I am saving the best one for last. All right, so next up, we have a Delta Triple Seven 200 LR. I have to put the camera up. All right, we have a Dell Triple Seven Two Hundred LR here. Arbitration. Well, you guys already know. Those of you who have this one. <clears throat> All right, livery Delta Airlines aircraft type Triple Seven Two Hundred LR construction number construction number three nine. Two five four nine number seven eight nine registration number seven zero eight delta November engines two X GE nine it's two GE nineties delivery date May thirteenth two thousand nine first flight June fifth two thousand nine and two eight three hundred twenty six thousand pounds and cruise speed five hundred sixty four miles per hour range nine hundred and nine thousand four hundred and fifty miles. Seating 305 mixed classes, 440 high density classes, and the rest we just read on the FedEx box. So, you're probably wondering, well, I got another one of these. The old one, the one on this one's paint nose is scratched, and that was like really bothering me. So, I got another one. Also, I don't know why this model has a Delta belly. The real one in real life does not have a Delta belly. I'm wondering why the model has one. But this makes, I have November, I have an ER, November 865 Delta, Delta Alpha, LR November 704 Delta Kilo, um, November 708 Delta November, and another 708 Delta November. And this mystery tail number, which you guys will find out in just a minute here. <clears throat> Open it up. Yeah, that's a beautiful plane right there. As you can see on here, let's hang the gear a little bit. All right, got the uh, couple names on the front of the nose here. If I can never get it to focus. All right, yeah, I got a couple names including, I can't read the names, I'd have, to, I'd have to look at the real one. To look at the names for this thing. But uh, yeah, you got those GE 90s right there, those beautiful GE 90s. Wi Fi box, uh, lightning rods, wings, and registration uh, logo. Vertical stabilizer, the trims, the APU on a 777 here. The, some more lightning rods. Got the uh, wings, got the spoilers right here. Got the flaps, got the slats up here. Got the beacon light. Got the delta belly under it. Um, yeah, got those giant GE90 blades looking dead down it. <clears throat> Over here, we do have 
the service doors and the names over here. I was actually been on this one from LAX to Sydney and Sydney to Los Angeles. The triple seven I've been on, I've been on November 707, also November, November 706, November 708, November 701. And I'm soon to be ordering November 706, Delta November, pretty soon here with some birthday money that I got. On to the last but not least of the aircraft. Now this one is a different tail number. You can see it's old box texture. Once I flip it up, you'll know what it finally is. All right, we already know the length and everything. Let's just do the November 706, Delta November. Wait, it says November 706, but in here, it says November 707. Okay, so I got November 706, Delta November box. But November 707, I don't have a problem with it. I mean, I got the plane. Just wants me to mix up or something. Because I can still order November 706. And if that comes in the November 707 box, that's perfect. Aviation 777 also has November 707. Seven. It was his first model too. It was his first triple seven model. And I've been on this tail number. Alrighty. Let's review here. Got the cockpit. Got the windshield wipers right there. Got the Delta logo. Mer um, got the doors, windows. Got the engines right here. The, the tires, the wings. Um, APU back here. Got the tail. The um, number elevators and trims under it. We have a little delta belly. Oh, let me move this. The Midas logo. And it also has a gear door. I like that. All right. These tires do not roll. Front ones do. All right. We do have the um, service doors on this one. As, let me just try to focus on registration here. Yeah, November 707, Delta November. I took this one to JFK. Really, really nice model right here. Got the Wi-Fi box on the top and more lightning rods. But yeah, let's move on to the terminals. Ooh. All right, so next up we have the Midas 1 400 scale airside land complex terminal. I'm not gonna set it fully up today, but, oh yeah, there's still some wet paint right there. I'm not gonna set it fully up today, but watch the new airport update video when that comes out. And you guys will be able to see the both all three terminals fully set up. Let's get around the box. All right, so here we have the street. <clears throat> And here is the actual terminal building. A little dirt on it from when I took it out earlier. All right, so I really love about this new one. Okay, so there, no, it's not for this one because this one doesn't have an add-on piece. But yeah, you see we got it all the way around. I'm going to put in the batteries now. And you see we got this right here, the entrance right there. I'm gonna, this is gonna go towards the land side, air side. I'm gonna put the batteries in it now. Um, in here, then we have the instructions and that's about it for this terminal. And also 
you know, the usual gate stickers. But yeah, that's about it for this terminal. I'm gonna get the next one out. The land air side terminal. This will be American United. <clears throat> All right, so we're back. Got that Duracell Optimum. Yeah, crispy. All right, and since the other terminal looks the exact same as this one here, I mean, here's like a difference between the older one and the newer one. As you can see, you gotta get different pieces on this one and this one. You just have it on the side here, built in terminal. So I love that about this one. I don't need an extra piece just to put terminals, even if I wasn't gonna use that extra piece, you know? But um, on to the next one. Last but certainly not least, we have this terminal building. Uh, it's a side opener thing. Great. Look at all the jetways. Let's gonna set those down here right quick. Let me turn this up. Move that. Uh, I don't know how this sounds for you guys. Alright. And with this one, does not have the extra piece, but it does have these terminal things on the side. Therefore, even if I didn't want to use these extra pieces right here, which are actually way bigger than I thought. See, they also have them. They also have them. Yeah. That looks pretty cool. Things way bigger than I thought. All right, let me put the batteries in here. Dang, this thing is huge. I might make it like a cargo terminal. We'll see, because I do need a cargo area. But yeah, I know I'm sorry I didn't do a full unboxing with this, but if you would like to see the full video when this thing is done, when this thing is done, when the airport is done, like and subscribe so you know when this airport is done, when the video comes out, so you can see all of this set up. All right, I'll see you on the next one. Uh,